Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Harad Drak and we are playing Mountain Blade Warband Viking Conquest Reforged Edition as Balder Thorgrimson. We are here in Ireland in the process of plundering Irish monasteries um, to get some money together. We want to recruit some some Vikings for our warband to stuff them into our into our castle over here. We want to stuff them into Vixen. And when we've done that, we want to capture Edinburgh. Oh, Altclude has also taken this castle. They've taken this castle. Oh, they're really, really kicking the arse of uh, the Kingdom of Northumbria, to which we belong. Well, that's certainly not good. But on the other hand, it allows us to... Maybe capture a city for us, and more importantly, a city where we can recruit Norsemen, uh, which is very much what I want. I want to have Norse recruits because those don't care if I plunder more monasteries. So yeah, we're here. I uh, there was a patch in. Uh, since the last episode, since I recorded the last episode, I had to reapply all the tweaks that I have done to this game to make it a bit more fitting to the story I want to tell. I've mainly tweaked um, the guys that defend the villages. If you plunder these villages, you will not fight against um, villagers that only have like um, shovels and whatever else they have. Instead, you will be fighting against recruits and tier 1 and tier 2 troops of, of the faction this village belongs to, just because I don't want to, want to make it too easy. Um, I guess the villagers are keeping the weapons they take when they are called to arms by their liege lord. They, they don't just deteriorate to someone who can't defend themselves. I have up... Uh, or enhance the amount of money you get for looting monasteries, which is what we're going to do while while I talk, I guess. I want to loot as many monasteries as we can, pillage it. Um, what else have I tweaked? I've reapplied all these tweaks. I have changed the amount of money that you get from villages, castles and cities. Because I want this game to revolve around getting land. Normally it revolves around getting farmsteads in the cities that you buy with money you have so you can have some sort of reliable income but it's actually not the kind of game I really want to play when I'm a Viking. When you have the land then you are the lord and then you then you have the source this is the primary source of wealth at this time you don't have any a highly developed capitalist system where you can reinvest your dividends and all that if you don't have any land you're nothing or you're at least not on the top of the social ladder which is very much what these lords are and we with them what else have I changed? Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. The amount of money that villages, castles and cities pay. The amount of loot the monasteries give. I have um, turned on that I can see the bandit camps everywhere. That I don't ha just have to find them. Because it's, it's very annoying and the map is so big that you can sometimes just have very big difficulties finding these bandit layers. Um, oh yes, and I have turned off um, that my companions annoy each other and want to leave. Because I want to have a number of loyal companions that stay with Balder. Oh yeah, this was a very big loot. Very nice, 10,000 Peningas. I just put that up mainly because in the base game, or in the normal game, in the untweaked version, you get about... I'd say 300 to 1500 or something from a monastery, which I find odd because these are places where the Christians gather all their wealth and then it seems to come down to 
not even as much money that you could buy a horse with it. You have seen the price of of horses in this game is very high. You have to pay yeah from 5000 peningas and upwards you can get a horse. Some cost even 10,000 peningas and more and I find it odd that I shouldn't be able to find enough loot in a monastery to at least buy one horse. That's just odd. Because if that was the case, there never would have been any any sort of of Viking plundering of England. Because um, yeah, it's just not just not economic to do that. Then you have to account for the for the cost of um, the food that you need for the sea travel, the risk of people dying, other supplies like sails and tar and all that stuff just wouldn't be very very useful and no one would have done it but they did it plus it also speeds up the game if I don't have to plunder 100,000 monasteries just to get some money I mean they could just give me their money or well, they are not going to rather run around in their garden and be slaughtered. Well, that is what their Christian god tells them to do. Fine. Yeah, my men are celebrating for this easy plunder. Ooh, some jewelry. Very nice. Some wine, some amber. This is a fine haul. And we gain 3,660 penningers. It's not that much. Could be, could be worse though. Now let's have a look. Yeah, there's a Viking long port in this thing where we can sell our stuff. And I also want to recruit some Vikings. No, we're on the wrong side of the of the river. That's one of the things that annoys me because I cannot really choose on which side I end up and this just annoys me. Why why do I have to be on this side? Oh, come on, give me the right landing point, please. God damn it. Oh Thor damn it. Alright then. I chill out on this side. Why not? Hmm there's a monastery over there. I'm going to sell the spoils to the bandits. They have a lot of money. Very nice. So sell the ember. These things we're going to keep for building building a ship with it. Sell the ale. I'm going to keep the wheat for quests where we might need it. Sausages we don't have. But all the rest we can sell. This war trophy we are going to keep. Um, yeah. Away with it. It's very useful that I don't have to sail home to sell this stuff. And in second, I can just sell that to these bandits. I like that. I wonder why they are buying it, but yeah, fair enough, I guess. Oh, and some Vikings. Who are you? Svea, Elite Vikinger and Vikinger. Let's see if we can't get them. Oh, they are pretty fast. Stay for me. We're too slow to catch them, it seems. Alright then. So we're going to lose some of our troops. We have only 50. Well, get lost. Get lost. That should make us fast enough. Yeah. When I call you if you join me. What? I'm I'm ready to pay that amount of money. Nah. I wonder why the game is taking that choice from me. If I have the money, why can I why can I pay for them? 
Some stuff is still a bit odd in the game, I'd say. But in general, it's fine. Now, I'm going to take everyone with us again. I mean, I would have been ready to pay 1700 Peningas for, for five guys. It's not that much. Especially if they are useful. Maybe we can get these guys. Oi. Less talking, more raiding. Join me. 5,000 for 13. Yeah, welcome to my army. Great. This um, is tanking my reputation, but I don't really care. We have 15 monks with us. I don't think I can sell them. Oh, and we didn't catch him. Come on. No, it's useless. One Viking. Can't catch him either, I think. Oh, there are 20. Yeah, we want these. Come on. Um, this guy seems to have some some memories about this place. Um, yeah, tell me more, but I'm not going to listen. Um, he's a house cow. Not some not some odd guy from here. Um, yeah, our wool weavery at Edinburgh is still under sequestration because Old Clute has conquered that place and is holding back our re revenue. That is slightly annoying. Yes, yes, yes. Catch them. I will drink from your skull. Join me. You welcome to my army. How's our how's our morale looking? Eighty. So that's that's not a problem then. Great. We're getting a very strong army. We have a lot of these um, ship captains. Um, historically, ship captains were sort of the lords of the Norse because when you were commanding a ship you were very very high in the social ladder in a very high social status um, even if even if it wasn't your own ship you were at least commanding between 20 and 50 men I'm not interested in these thieves Let's plunder this monastery. Because it's just sitting there, waiting to be plundered. Oh, there are renegades, and there are elite Vikings in there. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Not for two Vikings. There are nine guys. Don't really need the kind of. Oh, yeah, with the last patch, I forgot to mention that. Our dog is now unkillable. Before he could be killed and you had to get a new one. That's why I always put him back. Now he cannot die. At least that is if I read the patch notes correctly. Which I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, you should have learned something useful. Like fighting. Instead you learned praying. That's what you get. Oh, we can do. We can take a lot of prisoners. We are over the amount of guys we can take with us. I think. No, not quite. No, not quite. We have two skates with 55 people. It's 110, and we have a snack here, which gives us 27 people. So 137. Ooh, two jewelries. Very nice. That's great. I like it. And we get 7,000 Peningas. Very good also. I like it. Was this guy attacking me? I have to have to have uh, an eye on these parties running around here. Christian Kingdoms really 
hate Baldur Thorgrimson. Maybe we can sell some stuff over here. But there are less Vikings than I had hoped in this place. Oh, and they already have done with my loot, whatever they do. Maybe they've eaten it, maybe they've sold it. I don't really know. Mm. Should I sell this stuff? No. We need some proper food variety. Um, although, let's sell these sausages and that butter. Do it like that. That's fine, I guess. How is our money situation looking? 84,000. That's rather nice. We need a lot of money for our own kingdom. That's for certain. Maybe I can I can convince these guys now to follow me. Or maybe not. Maybe they're just too fast for me. Some veteran renegades. Some thieves. I mean, I could attack these guys, but I would lose men. And I would lose them for nothing. So I'd rather not. Still some thieves. Where are the Vikings? I want Vikings. More thieves. Um, a lord. There's the uh, monastery of Finian. It's burning. Yeah, Alright then. Doesn't look like we will be able to recruit more Vikings over here. Some boars. Oh, there are some more Vikings. Come here. I went in that direction, where we can catch them. Um, I really need someone who can do some proper track reading. Where did they go? These are party size of 29. Uh, they also seem to vanish in this place over here. Maybe they are holding the people hostage. No, populace is opposed to me. Maybe because I'm burning the monasteries in their vicinity. I wonder why they should be upset that I'm doing that though. Because to be honest, these monasteries are just taking the money from the surrounding people. Cleaning them out, in a way. Um, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get more Vikings. No, oh, there was some. Come on, come here. So they're running in that direction. Oh no, these are renegades. And some thieves. I'm not interested in them. Fine then. We're going to sail again. Oh, no, more thieves. Uh, some Vikings. Maybe if I can get the correct landing point. And we're on the wrong side again. Some renegades. Shouldn't they come back? Thieves. Thieves. They have one swear viking. And they have a ship captain. Guess they freed them. Maybe they were, be were taken prisoner by someone. Yeah, some masterless men. Not interested in them. Hmm. I thought this was a richer ground for Viking hunting. But maybe I'm mistaken. There are a lot of lords here. Maybe they are keeping the vicinity clean. We're going to sail in any case. 
We might plunder villages. Generally try to avoid that. Oh, severe weather has damaged our ships. That's not good. I want to loot this place, Patricius. I generally try to avoid looting the villages if it's not absolutely necessary. I know it's it's a bit odd. Maybe I should just get over my sentimental ideas and start looting. They hate me anyway, so... Yeah, let's plunder this thing and... Um Oh, the dog is, is set to hold. I'm going to send him in and charge. I'm a bit sad that I cannot use my horn in these scenes. We have a very fine troop of warriors now. Nearly all of them have male shirts. Takes them a long time to get to get up this hill. And the fighting has begun. And he's down. Shouldn't take long now. Three monks. These monks make excellent slaves. They are already accustomed to hard work and to keeping their mouth shut. If you beat them into submission for some time, then you're going to have a very useful slave. Or at least that is how we're going to sell them to the uh, slave merchant. So we have taken to see again. But I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to see more of the exploits of Baldur Thorgrimson. I hope you join me for that. Thanks and bye-bye.